Again, welcome to Inferential Statistics in Decision Making. This lectures cover chapter one of our course textbook. Our main objective again is to go through some few terminologies such, such as what is a population, what is a sample, what is a parameter, the difference between descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. So what is a data? Here yeah, we say data consists of information coming from observations, counts, measurements, or responses. Now, when we said an observations, observation can be a person or any entity. So example here, we may have information from a person, uh, such as how many uh, customers uh, visit a supermarket or how many patients visit a supermarket. This will be based on counting. Also, we may say a customer weight is 200 pounds. This will be based on measurements and also the responses from the customers or a person. So example here will be a people who eat three daily service, a servings of a whole grace have been shown to reduce their risk of stroke by 37%. Another example, 70% of the 1500 US spinal cord injuries to minors result from vehicle accidents and 68% were not wearing a seat belt. So this will be an information. Next, what is a statistics? Here we say a statistics is the science of collecting, organizing, analyzing, and interpreting data in order to make a decision. So statistics again is about analyzing data, managing data, techniques we can use to collect the data also. Next is what is a data set? First, we have two types. Here we start with the population. The population will be the collection of all outcomes, responses, measurements, or counts that are of interest. Then we have a sample. So a sample will be the subset of, of the population. So a good example is that in New York City, our population will be 5 million. Now, if we want to collect a sample, maybe we may take only 1,000 or 1 million from the 5 million or 15 million. So that's why, again, a sample will be a subset of the population. Population is all the outcome, and, and a sample will be part of it. So example here, we should identify what type of data set is this, whether it's a population or it's a sample. So here we say, in a recent survey, 1,708 adults in the United States were asked if they think global warming is a problem that required immediate government action. Now, 939 of the adults say yes. The question is, we should identify the population and also the sample. Then we should describe the data set. So the population will consist of all the responses of all adults in the US. Since we said the population will be all the outcome. In this case, we are concentrating on again, US population, adults. So the population again will consist of the responses of all the adults in US. So here we say the responses of adults in the US will be the population. Then the responses of adults in a survey will be the sample. So let's say the adult population is 200 million. We may end up taking a sample of 2000. So 2000 will be a sample, and then population will be all the outcome, all the US population. So here yeah, we say the sample consists of the responses of 1708 adults, because the question said, 1,708 adults answer the question where in the survey. So that will be a sample. Then the sample again is the subset of the responses of all the adults in the US. <clears throat> so the data set consists of 939 yes and 769 notes. So the total will give us again 1,708. And it will be a sample because it's part of the population of US adults. 
So next, what is, what is the difference between parameter and statistics? Now we say a parameter will be the characteristics of the population. So here we say the number that the number that describes a population characteristics. So for example, average age of all the people in the United States. Now, a statics will be the characteristics of a sample. So the number that describes a sample characteristic. So average age of people from a sample of three states. We know United States have somewhere around 50 or 51 states. So if we can take a data from three states, so again, that will be the sample. So again, parameter is the characteristics of the population and statistics is the characteristics of the sample. Now here yeah, they say we should distinguish between parameter and statistics. And the question said we should decide whether the numeric value, the numerical value describes a population parameter or a sample statistics. So a recent survey of a sample of MBAs reported that the average salary for an MBA is more than 82,000. So here it will be a sample. The reason why, because the average of the 82,000 is based on a subset of the population. Because here we see a recent survey of a sample. The question says sample of MBA, so that's a sample. Now, the next question says so we should decide again whether the numerical value describes a population parameter or a sample statistics. So a starting salary for the 667 MBA graduates from the University of Chicago Graduate School of Business increased by 88.5% from the previous year. Now, when we look at this question, the 667 MBA graduates, that is all the MBA graduates from the University of Chicago Graduate School of Business in the previous years. So this will be our population. So here we say population parameter, the percent increase of 8.5% is based on what all the 667 graduates start in salary. Next, we talk about the branches of statistics. Normally, the branches of statistics, we may say there are three. We have discrete statistics. We have the inferential statistics. Then we also have the probabilities. But normally, we combine it to two main descriptives. So probability will be part of, again, somewhere inferential between inferential and descriptive. But again, inferential statistics, normally, we use a sample to do some testing, then the decision we get or the result that we get, we apply to the population. Descriptive statistics, we just want to understand our data. So we summarize our data. So we may say that probability also should be inferential statistics because we can do probability, the results we can get, we are going to make a decision on it. So the branches of statistics then we may say is descriptive and also inferential. So probability is part of inferential statistics. Now here we say that descriptive statistics normally involve organizing, summarizing and display the data. So the main goal of a descriptive statistics is for us to understand our data sets. So for example, we may plot a chart we may find the average, the median, we may find the standard deviation. And standard deviation will tell us how large the data set values uh, varies, the spread of the values. Uh, for example, if a standard deviation answer is zero, it means all the values are the same. Now, inferential statistics normally involve using the sample data to draw conclusion about a population. So the diagram here, we have a sample of only three. And the results, again, we test the data from these three employees. The result we get, we apply to all the employees of the company. 
let's assume the employees, all the employees are 10. So we use only three. The decision we get, we apply it to all the results we have, we apply it. So again, probability will be part of inferential statistics. Now let's see an example here. The question here is that we're going to decide based on the question whether again is descriptive for inferential statistics. So here they say we should decide which part of the study represent descriptive branch of statistics and what conclusion might be drawn from the study using inferential statistics. So here, a large sample of men age 48 was steady for 18 years. For all married men, approximately 70% were alive at the age of 65. For married men, 90% were alive at the age of 65. So the descriptive statistics normally will involve the statement, such as for all married men, approximately 70% were alive at the age of 65. And for married men, 90% were alive at age 65. Because again, descriptive, just we are summarizing the data, explaining what the data is about. Now with inferential statistics, we have to make a decision. So here we see a possible inference draw from the studies that being married is associated with a longer life for men because those, the men who are married, 90% were still alive at the age of 65. While those who are not married, it's only 70%. So inferential statistics, we are drawing a conclusion. We are making a decision. Descriptive statistics, we want to understand the data. So we are summarizing the data content. So again, that will be the conclusion of our first lectures, which cover chapter one, section one. And the main goal here is to again, go through some few terminologies, such as we went through data, what is a data? Also, we went through what is inferential statistics, what is descriptive statistics, what is a parameter, what is a sample, etc. So again, see you in the next class. Thank you.